The insect world is a frightening place. Around every corner there are monstrosities just waiting to eat you. To avoid this, many insects have adopted a cunning evolutionary strategy, Crypsis. The ability to look like your surroundings. And there are quite a few insects that do this really well. I'm Spencer Hoffman and I've always been fascinated by cryptic insects, but there's one group that does it better than all others. These are the walking sticks. Now, before I say anything, I want to know if you can see it. Can you see what I'm looking at? It's right there. Look at this. Now this is something that is truly special. Some people might bully me for this because they're not rare per se. This is a walking stick and they're one of my absolute favorite insects of all time. Just look at the look at the anatomy of this creature. It is so strange, so bizarre, and so stick-like. They have absolutely mastered camouflage and crypsis. And uh, if you've been watching the channel for a long time, you know that camouflaged insects all hold a very special place in my heart. Praying mantises, katydids, grasshoppers, but especially phasmids, the walking sticks. Now, this is a nice, pretty male. And I can tell he has those long, long antennae, and the abdomen looks a little different on males. I don't know the name for the actual like anatomy parts, but once you, uh, once they realize they've been spotted, they do move around a little bit, but they are so strange looking and they'll be hanging out on branches and even low lying shrubs, shady parts of a woodland. I, was, I wouldn't say we were out here targeting them, but this is definitely something that I thought there was an off chance we'd see and I was really hoping I'd get my hands on. Such an incredible feat of evolution right there. Over millions of years, these guys have basically begun to look more and more like the vegetation that they inhabit. You can even see the closer you look at them, like they, they have like a slight discoloration at the joints like you'd see on some branches, uh, a little bit of mottling, greens, and faded browns. And on a lot of these hardwoods, they look just like the branches, which makes them really difficult to find because they're not that rare, but they are so camouflaged that they go relatively unseen. You gotta be very careful in handling them because these guys are extremely fast to throw off limbs. That is probably one of their main defense mechanisms, unlike their cousins, the two stripe. These guys don't spray poison at you, so you know there's not really anything that this insect can do to really hurt you, but it will throw off a leg in defense to try to escape, and you know, we don't want him to be missing a leg. Look how like long and lanky they are, and the way they move is just so unreal. I look at the way they move and the way they just look. It's like, I can't believe that this is something that actually exists in the world and is real, but sure enough, right there. They'll be hanging out in these trees, eating leaves and stuff. Um, actually, it could be easy to find them. I don't see too much vegetation damage on this, but it can be easy to find them because these guys are voracious eaters. They will strip the leaves down to the vein and I can actually find them sometimes by looking at plants and seeing areas where like the entire leaves have been cleared away and it's just the little stems and veins left. And if you look, if you follow that line of destruction, you'll eventually find the walking stick hanging out under a branch or something. During the day, they'll sit just like he was underneath the branch in the shade and stay completely motionless. And sometimes they'll even hold their front legs in front of their head. And you can see there's a little, there's a little groove in like his armpits and that allows him to actually fit his head directly in those front legs. So they look like it's actually a stick. Um, a lot of these guys look like they only have four legs because those front legs are right out front. Dang it, stop doing that. As you can see, their quick death drop is a cunning defense mechanism to escape from predators. You pick one of these guys up, they'll just randomly drop to the ground and stay motionless. And if there's lots of sticks and pine needles on the ground, they'll blend right in. They're primarily nocturnal. These guys will move, unless you disturb them, like I'm, I'm you know, handling him so he knows he's been spotted. But primarily, they're gonna be moving around more after dark, under cover of night, uh, where they'll actually do most of their feeding. When they're predators, and a lot of the stuff out here is very visual, um, you know, this is not an insect that like is gonna be making noise or something. So like after dark, you're not gonna see them um, getting eaten by like sound-based predators. And they're not meaty enough to be enticing to vision-based predators. So it's kind of a little 
cheat they've sort of figured out to uh, evade predation. Camouflage, they're not a very meaty, nutritious looking insect, and they move super slow without making a sound. One of the more cryptic, secretive animals of the woodland. One of my absolute favorite insects, the walking stick. I love it. As if their incredible camouflage wasn't cool enough, what if I told you that there are species of walking stick that have even more tricks up their sleeves? In the southern United States, there's actually a group of walking sticks that can spray a potent toxin at would-be predators. And down in Louisiana, I was actually able to get up close and personal with these toxic phasmids. If you want to see that video, check it out right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.